So in order to add a tax and a shipping cost and a shipping method on top of your WooCommerce website, you simply need to go in in the area called WooCommerce and then settings option. And on the settings option, so you can see all of these tabs here. Now I'm going to cover this part, the tax and the shipping method. So let's start first on the shipping because actually I already did a tax part here, but we will review that later. So on the shipping area, this website is only available in the United States at the moment. So I'm going to try to just cover a like a specific state instead of a country. Okay, so shipping zone. So for example, in the California part, so I'm going to put in California here. So let's say in California, actually, what's the code for the California? So again, let's just add, let's say I accept local pickup in California and at the same time as well. It's not a free shipping. Let's just have that. And um, hold on. Specific countries sell on a specific countries. I need to put something there. I forgot to add that. So refresh. So let's say California. So California, I accept local pickup and at the same time, a flat rate of $9. So taxable. And that should, that's also taxable. So $9.95. Okay, and then the fixed date. Okay, let's just have a sample here. So specific state, let's say this one. Okay, and save. Let's just say that I accept local pickup and a flat rate. So if I refresh this checkout, you'll see here that I set up the postal code to what I have set up in here. So you can see this that I accept local pickup and at the same time there's also a flat rate if I wanted to ship to my home or door to door delivery. So that's how it works. Now let's say someone lives in other country. Maybe I can remove the California part here. So just use Alaska. So this one is Alaska. Now if I check this out, if I refresh that and check out, you'll see that I set up like El Segundo in here and there are no shipping method available. Now, what you can do here is click the add shipping zone, all states and United States shipping flat rate and a flat rate of $9.95 saved. Hold on. So flat rate shipping fee. You can change the label by the way. Okay, so if this one if that if it doesn't work sometimes, you just need to re-add again the zone. So save. So check out. So here shipping fee nine point ninety five dollars. I live in California. So basically this one works on, this is the flat rate or flat shipping fee all over the states, okay? So, but if you live in Coro, what was her address? I think Corona or Corolla. Um, yeah, so if this is the address, let me just move back to the shipping thing here. So I have this California and all states. Now I'm going to change this one to Corona. Okay, Corona. And then um, United States specific in California. But there is a specific code. So I do accept local pickup for that city and a flat rate as well. Okay, so if I refresh that, so as you can see here, I set up the town or city to Corona. I have these two options. I have this local and then I have this flat rate. 
okay and now there is a tax in here if you want to set up a tax on the overall amount of your product actually let's just go over the shipping options first so on the shipping options if you don't want this to be like visible on the checkout you can hide that so if i'm gonna click that refresh there you can also force the shipping to billing method it's also fine So here, so that, you have that option here. Hide the shipping cost until an address is entered. Now, if the address is not entered, the shipping cost will be hidden. So let me just do that now. It's not hiding at the moment because I autofill it. But these options will hide the cost if you disable that one. But anyway, so let me put it back. Fresh and then shipping classes this is a little bit basis so let's say if you have a products that is bigger compared to the your normal products then you can set up a shipping classes and set a, a price tag but now we will not cover that in this video but if you want me to come up with additional tutorial for that then please comment down below okay then we will jump into the tax sub on the tax tab as you can see here i have a 6.97 dollars tax and normally tax is by percentage so what we can do here so we have this tax option still the same with the other one here if you want it to be visible directly to the checkout you can click the this yes or no okay and like here so if you want to itemize that this is super self-explanatory you just need to do that now let's just jump into the standard rates i set up something here like all of the countries so asterisk means all of the code all of the countries if you want to specific postal code so for example um this postal code um, 9824 and you want this to be only two percent so tax and yeah so if we save that okay and i refresh it you'll see that the tax is changed to one dollar point ninety nine cents because i only charge two percent of the entire price of the products so that's just how you set up your taxes there i'm going to remove this one i don't think i need that so remove so that's basically how you can set up your tax um there is a reduced tax here so for example if a country actually standard tax i should do that in the reduced tax so let's say if the state here if the post postal code is 2829 it's corona so i want to reduce five percent of the total amount of tax so we refresh that again you see here that the 6.697 is changed why it's not hold on rate enter the tax rate percentage to the decimal point so if i change that to two i think you need to put the code here yeah it's not working i probably need to put the tax code state code in the country code and the zero rate is again you can set up something here if you want to have a discounted price per tax now as i said um like since i just covered the standard rates this part for the reduced rate and zero rates i'll try to come up with a different tutorial for this one because this one i am a bit confused how this works but basically how i set up my tax in woocommerce i just don't really go crazy with the other options i just go straightly to the um, standard rates part so yeah that's basically how that works and i hope you find that valuable if you have any questions or concern again don't hesitate to comment down below thank you